Well, the Joaquin character is like, for me, it's, it's what, it's what Joaquin Phoenix can do that nobody else can. That was uh, very poorly exploited, unexploited in the Joker that was superficially mm-hmm. exploited in the Joker, mm-hmm. but brought out in real high relief in the master in a way that's like disturbing how good it was. And the difference between those two movies is that one is a Marvel movie that yeah. is, that needs to reach t- teenagers and the and people that still wish they were teenagers. And the other one is a a, a sick, uh, beautifully realized fantasy of a filmmaker who gets into some kind of a fever when he writes a movie and then executes it with extreme uh, uh, conscientious discipline. That two very different categories, but that's what you get. But I like it. I like it. Great I, yeah. I buy into him in every single movie he's ever made except The Joker. He definitely um, looks like when he's punching through a wall in this, he's like looking for the Oscar in the wall, like he's trying so hard. But like, I don't see boy, no. Point. I think he talked himself out of an Oscar from the first. This just felt <laughs> this movie was never destined for that. This movie is flies in the face of that. I don't think that he's but, hoping. It would have been insane for him to get an Oscar. <laughs> for that. He got but nominated. Well, he, got for, he got it for Joker, which is... They were, they were yes, both exactly. nominated. There you go. That's where you go for the Oscar. <laughs> for the cartoon the Marvel Joker. movie. Not I love Oscar. how you say Marvel. I know, you're going to get shit for that. <laughs> what? <laughs> you say Marvel instead of DC, which I love so much, because it'll make people... Oh, is it DC? Crazy. Yeah. Okay. YouTube comments are already flying. It's uh... <laughs> Yeah, people are going to be living. They won't be mad, though, because it's you. If, 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 if <laughs> no, Ron made that mistake. I don't think anybody expects me to love... Uh... <laughs> no. Mar- but, no, there is a. I mean, not it's a spend ten seconds on this. The yeah. difference, if there is a difference between Marvel and DC, DC seems a, like they're trying to be a little darker, and there's less of the thing that I can't do with Marvel. Like I can't get through are the scenes of everyone in a nice living room with uh, drinks in their plastic clothes talking about uh, what they're going to do, like just talking seriously about if you get the crystals away from him, the, 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 and then, uh, and then you know, and then Iron Man makes a joke like this. It's kind of funny. Uh, and then the Hulk gets a little mad and, and they talk like in a parlor, like they're the fucking uh, Housewives of Beverly Hills, like, and they're wearing, pla- and it makes their costumes look insane because they're just in somebody's condo and with a scotch on ice, just discussing things in low voices for really long scenes. And then they're supposed to pay off with the action. And I just don't, I get blinded by the action. It's not interesting to me, but at least I, I, I appreciate what the Joker was going for in a sense, but uh, I just didn't buy, I just didn't buy My issue with Marvel. I just don't care about characters that are different colors. Like people like cry at those movies and it's just like insane to me. I but, can't uh, believe anyone gets emotionally, but, but look, it's not for me. It's I'm not that somebody likes it. It makes it good. As far I as went as with as Avengers. I uh, love the movie. Avengers. That means it's a great movie, but it's, it's, I'm just not on the train. I want, I went with the, uh, An- the Avengers infinity war with this girl, Amy Rose Rangers comic. She cried like she was in the Holocaust. <laughs> what? <laughs> No. Uh, she cried like she was in the Holocaust Memorial Museum. Like it was like crying the whole time. Which and one? Some this... of those Holocaust museums make you cry. <laughs> Others don't. This is this is the I'm talking about the good one. Like the one. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, fucking top tier one. The, the Iron Man of Holocaust <laughs> <The Iron> museums. <laughs> she's crying the whole time, and because in Infinity where they like kill everyone at the end, and she's I crying the whole time. I can't watch the Iron Man the first one. <laughs> Was fucking good. I liked the hell out of that movie. That was. Well, fun. But let me just here's, say, here's my here's my hatred of this is how I can trump my hatred of Marvel movies trumps yours yeah. because I went and saw the first Iron Man and walked out because I was like I get it I see he's <laughs> good it's gonna be the thing all right fine that's the only one I ever watched and I left that's how much I hate Marvel movies <laughs> you're better than me yeah you're, you're goddamn right I am. okay this I is also so like dis- Mickey Rourke I like Mickey Rourke with the, the weird tentacle uh, electrical thing. All right. Right. Killing a, a Formula One car. I like I that. I find this disrespectful to Paul Thomas Anderson, yes. one of the great American masters in the history of American cinema. We've broken off into a conversation about Marvel. He deserves better than this, for God's sake. It's my so, fault. So I okay. think 